mass hog riders, and bat spells at tunnel 12. Here's the first base we'll attack, but let's first check out the army. And I'll leave a link for this in the description below. Now in the CC, we'll take the log launcher with yetis and also a rage spell. Our first priority is to take down the enemy CC and the town hall. So we're going to start down here on the bottom side with three ice golems, two baby dragons, one on each side to help the funnel, then all the heroes, and of course the log launcher. And we're going to use this as kind of a kill squad. And the reason we started down here on the bottom side was because the CC was down here. We need to make sure we can pull that early. Ideally, we would want the kill squad to all enter the base together, but since there's so much funneling, it looks like it'll walk around. But that's not a big deal if the log launcher can make it in there to take down the town hall, ultimately. Looks like the queen was able to take down the enemy CC with the help of this poison spell. The heroes do continue to get value on the outside, so as long as the log launcher can make it in, that is all good. So the log launcher does bust, and we're going to drop this rage spell to help them get to the town hall. And of course, any other buildings if possible, and that in this case, it's these multis are able to take out that one. They should be able to take out the second one with the help of these Yeti Mites and the Rage Spell. And our next big priority is going to be the Eagle, of course, and Wizard Towers. So we're going to kind of span these Hog Riders in, make sure we don't clump them up too much, because splash damage is a huge problem if we don't have heal spells. Now we're going to deploy our final Ice Golem to tank for this outside Wizard Tower, and then deploy the Bats, and the Bats are able to take that down while the Wizard is distracted. Now we're going to deploy our one of our free spells on this next Wizard Tower right before the Bats get in range of it. You're going to want to make sure you do this in time because one shot from the wizard tower will destroy all the bats. So we're going to get ready with this third invis, freeze, and they do take that down with one. Usually it should only take one freeze to get through a wizard tower, but sometimes it may take two. And we do end up having two extra freezes in this attack. As long as all your bats are alive, they should be able to help clean up really fast. And of course, we do still have five wizards that we're going to want to sprinkle on these defenses area with all these trash buildings to help the clean up and make sure we don't run into a time fail. But with help of these bats, it should be a pretty fast attack most of the time. So of course the log launcher will work great for anti 2 star bases, but what about anti 3 star bases? Well that's where we have a different approach, this time with the battle bloom. First thing we're going to want to do is locate the position of the air sweepers where they're facing and we're going to go on the side that they're not with the kill squad, all three ice golems, one baby dragon on each side to funnel, all the heroes are going to end up pulling the CC early in this situation and we're going to poison that. This king can get a little low on his HP, deploy the battle blimp in with the warden, wait till the blimp gets a little close to the edge, we're going to pop the king's ability and pop the warden's ability at the same time to help catch the king's ability with the blimp so we get maximum value and the blimp does make it to the town hall. Drop that rage spell right before it goes down to help knock that out and as soon as the town hall is down it is go time with the hog riders and we're gonna kind of spread them out in little groups we don't want to clump them up too much because we do not have any heal spells and splash damage is a major problem now we're gonna start up here with an ice golem to tank for this outside wizard tower all the bat spells right behind that all in one place we'll work through that really fast now we're gonna get ready with our next freeze deploy that right before the bats get in range of it we did wait to the last second there but it was enough we're gonna drop this final freeze to lock down this last wizard tower Quick tip, if you can predict where the tornado trap is, you're going to want to avoid that with the bat spells because if they get caught in that, it will destroy them all. But most of the time, that should be near the town hall. 